this is Catherine, and today we are going to make a resin coaster. So uh, first two things that you'll be needing that is a part of your kit is your resin mold. This is the final version, just flashing what it will look like. At all times, I like to keep my gloves on, especially since we're working with resin fluids. Uh, you'll receive pliers in your kit, along with a popsicle stick, a cup to um, apply your fluids, fluid A and B, which will be labeled in your container, along with dry flowers. And the beautiful thing about these molds is that you can continue to make as many as you like. Just mind that it will take roughly 24 to 36 hours for your resin to fully dry. Sometimes it may take a little sooner, but just a little FYI. And so the very first thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to um, create our mix. So in order to create our mix, we are going to have to time ourselves um, roughly about 30 um, three minutes so anytime you're working with resin you always need to have equal parts of the fluid you can't just have for instance two ounces of resin a and one ounce of resin B you always have to have two ounce and two ounce for this case we are working with um, two ounces to fulfill this resin you may have some extra um, that you could always use um, for your second coaster if you're making more than one coaster in this mix. So the very, very first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply our resin A and B into our mixing cup. And you could apply them both at the same time, but the goal is that the only way that the resin is going to harden is if we get a chemical reaction. It's only if they actually mix. The mixing can take up to three minutes. So um, we will be timing ourselves um, during this process. Okay. I like to kind of pour out all the excess fluids that are there. So when you are working on this project, because of the carrying time, make sure that you're working on a location that you don't have to make too much movement and you could just transport it onto um, or keep it in that same location that you're working on. I'm working over a craft paper, maybe a tray um, would be optimal, or if you could just place it on the table and leave it overnight, that's great as well. So now that I've added both fluids to um, my cup, my measuring cup, I'm gonna go in and mix. So I'm gonna mix for three minutes. May feel like the longest three minutes, but we are going in for three minutes. Now when you're mixing, you wanna make sure that you're pulling the fluid from the bottom upward, mixing in around, so that the chemicals are reacting. You're gonna notice that the resin may seem cloudy, and that's okay. That's just part of the process as they're blending. Um, it, it, it's going to be the longest three minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna warn you. But don't want to mix too fast, so you want to make sure that it's equally mixing. So what I do is I pull from the bottom upward, bottom upward, just to make sure that the resins mix. Still have two minutes to go. mix here. Remember, bottom upward so that it's equally mixing. It's just a close-up of what it may look like. And we just have about just a minute left. Continuing to mix. Uh, 
All right, three minutes are up. So in this stage, the very first thing when I begin to pour is I like to make sure that we fill in the inside lip of the coaster, okay? So I go in and apply a layer of resin into my coaster. With my popsicle stick, I may just help the resin move around so that it's evenly filling in that little lip so that you don't have any cracks um, on the actual coaster itself. And I go in, the goal is to have one layer, right? A very, very thin first layer of your resin. Then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to apply our flowers. So you might find me that I'm not wearing my gloves only because my gloves got a little sticky. And from here with my pick, I'm just gonna pick out the flowers that I wish to use. Just insert them in. And remember, when the mold dries, so you wanna make sure that the front part of the flower is facing upward, not facing you. Make sure you press it inward so it kinda of soaks in. Here's my front part. Here's my back part of my flower, and I'm just gonna drop it in face down. This is the back part of this longer piece, the front part, front part face down. You could apply as many little flowers that you wish or if there's any other items that you would like to drop in. That's the back side, this is the front, face down. I'm about to soak in. This is the front side, back side, back side faces, faces upward. Now, once you have added the flowers of choice, you could go in and apply the additional layer. Here I'm adding my gloves back on for this part because I will be touching the resin. Now I start to fill in the resin the resin mold with the remainder resin that I have left over. You wanna make sure the resin mold doesn't overflow either. So once you see that the resin is starting to fill up to the top, that should be, that should be sufficient. I actually like to make sure that it doesn't exceed and um, that you do have some space from the top of the rim to where the resin is at. <clears throat> so that the, the resin could settle in. And there, your resin is ready for the curing process. So all you would do from here is just allow it overnight to cure. It takes about 24 to 36 hours. Now the following day, when once your resin has fully dried, okay, here's the coaster inside the mold. All you're gonna do is just gonna pop up the mold in and out.
so that now you have a fully cured poster.